Um, Tiernan and Albert, we're, we're talking about Albert's uh, imminent appointment as the uh, new club's full-time under-16s coach. Tiernan, I suppose in the light of what we've talked about with the restructuring of the academy, how important uh, is it to have somebody like Albert in this role, able to pass on his experience and his wisdom and, and everything else that he can? I think probably the, 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 one, the one word that kind of sums Albert up and sums up what we're, what we're trying to do here with this professional development phase is, is add levels of professionalism. Um, I've obviously been very fortunate to, to work with Albert now for four or five years and, and, and that epitomises Albert is um, how professional he is in everything that he does. Um, and I think even watching him now as a 37-year-old as a and uh, how he takes care of himself, how he looks after himself, how he approaches the game, um, his thought process around the game. And as we've just talked about, the, the future of this football club um, lies in the, the, these young players coming through. We, we want to offer them th those, th the platform to not only try and make it in, the, in, in England or Scotland, but, but also in the Art Scholarship Programme and in the Art First Team. And, and I think in order to give them every chance and the best chance, we have to offer them the best coaches and players who are people that have been there and done it. And as we talked about, wore the T-shirt. They, they've been through the experiences that, that these young people will, will have been through. They, they know the intensity and they, they, they know the levels that we, we've created here at First Team. Um, and I think for me, that, that there's no, no better person than Albert and, and we're going to surround ourselves by others um, that, that I think will, will, will definitely take on this baton and, and bring these, these young players from, from that particular phase to the next. And Albert, for yourself, obviously an exciting opportunity, but an opportunity to, to maybe pass on some of the things that Tiernan's talked about, you know, your experiences as a professional player for more than two decades in, in the game. That's something that you're, you're keen, I'm sure, to be able to see and do. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Um, very excited to give give back to, you know, players that, you know, coming through and young boys. I've been there myself and I've had the experience and to give that, you know, to have that bestowed on me by the club, you know, to bring all the, these young boys through and um, the to the next level is massive and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And you made your debut as a 15 or 16 year old for, for Ballymena United straight into the, the cut and thrust of the Irish League. We've been talking a bit about the, the importance of this professional um, development stage. How much more ready do you think it can make uh, young players and the best young players? How much more ready can it make them for senior football? Exactly. Uh, you know, there's two sides of it. You know, whenever they're at that age, where they're either going under the scholarship program, as the gaffer says, or they're going, they're going into men's football if they're good enough, or, or they're going across the water and um, going into the academies. And um, but we have to, we have to get them ready for that, and uh, mentally especially, because you just don't, you just don't be ready to go into men's football or in the academy football or at that level. You have to. You, you have to be doing it every day in that intensity and, and, and it, it takes a lot so I want to be able to give it to them and to, to, to show them and to make sure they are in the best footing going forward. And Tiernan, from, from your point of view, you know, good coach is, is vital, but you know, good coach who has also been a, a player for, uh, for a long time in the, the professional game you know, adds another layer to it as well. So somebody like Albert obviously ticks a lot of those boxes coming in and, and passing on that experience and commanding that, that respect from, uh, from young players. Yeah, I think this will be a very seamless transition for, for Albert, as, as, as we alluded to earlier. We're engrossed at this club of, of having a, a very rich DNA and the type of player that we want and the style of football that we want to play and um, as I said Albert has been there now for the last four or five years and very much been part of driving that and, 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 and enforcing that and um, I think that getting him in at this level and at this young age I think it will make a huge difference to learn football club I think the future is very bright for, for young players being being surrounded by people like Albert, and as, as I keep alluding to that, that professionalism and that drive, and um, he he won't accept second best, um, and I think we'll reap the rewards for that. And Albert coming in uh, to the, the under sixteen level, we, we've talked a bit about increased contact time and, and more use of facilities to be able to, to do that, and, and that's a, a very exciting time for for you to be coming into this role with that particular age group. It's it's very exciting. I, I actually done an interview there for the. Um, under 18s, bring, bringing a kid in to see what what facilities we had and going through the phases and with him, and I, I remember I just sitting there going, I wish I had this when I was 15 years of age or 16 years of age, having this professionalism, having the gym, having the strength and conditioning, 
you know, having the nutritionist, having you know, all that at your disposal, and contact time, and um, giving you the best opportunity to go either, either go into a scholarship program or, or either go to, across the water, um, and you're just seamlessly going into it because you know you've you've been exposed to that level of professionalism, and that 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 is massive. And you know, as a kid at that age, you, you like what who would want who would want to be part of that. And just finally, um, you've obviously been here for, for a number of years now and living in the town and uh, I'm sure your, your affinity with, with the club and the, and the town have grown as well so it's nice to be able to continue to, to do that here within Lorne. Exactly, and in, in around the place I know what the, you know, the fans expect, you know, for just from a basic level, you, they give everything for the club um, and, that, and, that, and that is the basic that you have to have to get anywhere in life. Um, and especially you know as a football a footballer going across the water staying here for Lawn Football Club, um, and and I'll be installing that in my players, and it's good to have that in you know being in and around them every day, and um, hopefully have loads of locals and playing and in the team and having that DNA. Brilliant, thank you.